What's going on everyone, Jack here from Half Rome. And today I'm gonna to talk about 10 things that you can add to this Avada to make it even better. That's right, stay tuned. Now the first one is this, it's the Fly More Kit and you're gonna get a couple of extra batteries and this charger. Now this charger is pretty small and it allows you to charge up to four batteries at a time. You just need to plug it in via USB-C. So that's pretty nice and super convenient. Now the batteries on this are up to 18 minutes, but really you're getting 12, 13, 14 minutes of battery. And if you're doing a professional shoot, you're flying around the house, you're gonna want a few extras just in case. So absolutely grab the Fly More kit. You're gonna be glad that you did. The number two thing you need is this. This is the DJI FPV Controller 2. Now, I don't know why this wasn't included with the drone. This is how most drones are flown with this controller. It is nice. You get this also with the DJI FPV drone. It has all the buttons and switches that you'll need. Uh, you can operate the gimbal from here. It's just really nice. And I prefer flying with this versus the motion controller. Now the motion controller is nice and intuitive, but it's a different kind of flying. Now you do get to head track with that and you can head track with this. So that's kind of a bummer, but overall the freedom and controllability that you have with this, you're going to want it, especially if you're want to fly manual mode, you can't with the motion controller, so you're going to have to add this FPV controller too. Now the next thing on my list is this. This is a case for your quad, and I really like this one from Lycus. I've been using their cases for a while now, and they really just offer so much. In addition to you being able to, you know, bring everything you want, they're waterproof right? There's just so much room inside this case. You got a spot for your drone, lots of extra accessories, batteries galore, batteries for your goggles, right? You got a spot for your goggles, even underneath the goggles, there's stuff, spot for your controller, both controllers. Lots of really good storage space in this case. It's well built, it's ventilated, and you know what? It's waterproof. Say if you're on a boat and it falls in, this thing's gonna float, it's not gonna sink. I've tested plenty of these Lycus cases and it's gonna take somewhere between 15 and 30 pounds to get it to sink to the bottom. You don't have that much gear in here. Definitely makes transporting your drone easier and safe, right? It's just a good safe place to keep your drone in a case. I'm a really big fan. Definitely recommend this one from Lycus. All right, the next thing I've got on my list, some ND filters. And also, and I don't usually recommend a UV filter. Now, let's start with the UV filter because people might be like, you don't usually recommend one of those. So a UV filter is basically just a piece of glass. And you know, some people really like them. They say they filter out the harmful UV rays. I don't know if that's true, but I do know it's gonna protect the Avada camera uh, up here from getting scratched. So fairly easy to put on and take off, but you're gonna wanna definitely keep uh, one of those little wipe cloths handy uh, they just kind of snap into place now I, I just took off my nd32 which i was filming uh, but i like this uh, uv filter to kind of keep that protected i'm gonna leave that on there now the nd filters you're gonna want to use for certain situations to kind of allow you to get the correct motion blur. Now we've talked all about motion blur. If you're looking for information on when to use the right ND filters, we've done videos on that before, but I got this quick table you can quickly reference, but ND filters are really nice, especially on sunny days. I've got some video flying with some of these ND filters from Freewell. I'm a big fan, been using them for years. Definitely something you're gonna to wanna to check out to kind of allow you to get the right exposure or the right motion blur. Okay, so we're gonna look at some video without the filter here first, and everything just is in focus. It's in frame, and it's not quite as natural now as I add the ND32, fixie, exposure, the ISO, and all that stuff. You can see, especially the corn and some of those things kind of blur a little bit, and that's a little bit more natural to the eye. Now, we're gonna look at them side by side here with the ND filter on the right, and again, take a look at the corn. I think in the corners, that's where you'll see it most, and then as we look at them side by side, I think that comes into picture just a little bit more. Now the next thing on my list is pretty simple. I'm not a big fan of this ugly dongle that I use to connect uh, from my goggles to a lightning cable. I just bought one of these USB-C to lightning cables and I don't have to worry about this goofy adapter and then I just throw this in my case and I can use it so that I can get the image from my goggles 
um, to my phone fairly easily. So just nice little easy thing that you may wanna consider picking up. While I wish the app had more functionality, it is nice to be able to give someone your phone so they can see what you're doing and how you're flying. All right, look at this guy. See these bright yellow uh, propeller guards? These are the Rough Riders uh, made by Original Dobo. Ken uh, makes these a uh, little easy to add accessories to your quad. Now they serve a couple of different functions, right? This set here is bright yellow, so I'm gonna be able to see this thing out in the field. Good visibility there. But uh, this rib design does a couple of things. It's gonna help protect both the drone on impact and what I'm bumping into. You know, I fly this thing indoors a lot and just kind of gives me a little bit more wiggle room if I happen to bump into an obstacle. So these are really nice. They're pretty light, easy um, to install, and they're not gonna break the bank either. And one of the things you're absolutely gonna need is an SD card. Yeah, there is a little bit of internal storage, but definitely not enough. These SanDisk Extremes are by far the best that I've used. And I suggest starting at 32, 64 or 128 is probably the better size, especially if you're shooting in 4K. So grab a couple of extra SD cards, 64, 128 is what I would recommend. Now I don't, I never recommend propellers for any of my other drones, but when you're flying FPV, you're gonna crash. And not that you're necessarily going to destroy a propeller. I have, I've done it with this drone. Uh, but they're gonna get nicked or they might get dinged up a bit and that is gonna negatively impact your flight performance. So make sure you have enough of these propellers on hand. You can get these standard DJI gray ones or even there's some nice red ones if you wanna add a little bit of color. Just make sure that you're putting them on properly. Remember, they have to match on the diagonal. This propeller and this propeller down here are the same, and these two are opposite. So this one and this one are the same, this one and this are the same, opposite, opposite, keep that in mind. Uh, you know, usually there's some indicators, right? We've got some dots on the uh, DJI props, but just something to kind of note um, and definitely have extra props on hand for your Avada. Now, an upgrade that I've seen people do, I'm not going to, at least I don't think I am, is upgrading the motors, right? So for basically $100, if you got some know-how and a little bit of time, you can upgrade these motors to something a little bit more powerful, give you a little bit more zip. I'm not gonna do that. I like the flight time how I have it, and I'm mostly flying this indoors, so I'm okay with how it is. But it does feel a little underpropped, a little underpowered, um, so yeah, maybe, actually now that I think about it, I'm gonna consider it. Not sure if I'm gonna actually go that route. Uh, seems like, you know, I'm just not a big fan of trying to fix something that isn't broken. So maybe if one of these motors goes out on me, I'll give it a whirl. Now the last thing I wanna mention is actually this. This DJI Mini 3 is actually a great companion drone to the Avada. Okay, so the Avada is great for flying indoors and getting close to objects. So say you're doing a real estate shoot, I'm gonna use this inside. You can use this outside, yeah. This drone is absolutely capable of cinematic footage um, and it's so easy to use, so small, has a great camera, obstacle avoidance, there's a really, really there's a whole lot to love about this DJI Mini 3 Pro. I'm a big fan, drone of the year. This thing is awesome. This is a great little combination, something you may wanna consider. Anyway, I hope these tips were helpful. If they were, give us a thumbs up. If you're looking to buy any of these products, check the links down below. They're affiliate links, at least some of them are, um, and they're gonna help support this channel. Hey, good luck everyone and happy flying.